YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Bushcraft Hippie. That's right. Um, I'm out. I'm in the woods. Um, I've been shooting, recording all day. GoPro is actually starting to die. Uh, I've gotten a lot of video today. Um, I've gotten a few ticks on me. Just want to keep looking. <laughs> um, but there's something I wanted to do today, uh, just to record another video, um, get some content. Uh, I wanted to review this. Um, the Vargo Titanium triad series alcohol stove I've never really used an alcohol stove for anything um, but I got this from a friend's kit and I think it was pretty much unused from their kit as well so um, I'll give you a, a few specs on it Vargo is the company Vargo titanium um, it's obviously it's made from titanium um, it has all these cool little little outstretching legs here on the bottom uh, it makes a nice solid base and what's cool is I, uh, I'm going to use it on the ground. These kind of stick into the ground. Um, the little hinges here that go on, I don't remember what, what style um, like screw or nut or bolt or whatever you want to call that is, but it's the same style that I, uh, I've seen on my previous job. I was a zipline guide. Uh, it's the same style bolt we use on our, our uh, carabiners. So I know that's a hefty, good style. Uh, it's not something that's not going to pop off. I'm not going to lose a piece or anything like that. Um, here on this side, you're going to see it has all the little holes to get that jet action going. Um, this one little indent in the hole there is where you put your fuel. Um, and it's got these top things. It's very similar to the bottom. They're pretty much the same. They could be interchangeable too. Um, and what these are is they're adjustable little uh, hooks. And what I like about them is you can really make something, uh, you can put something really big on here. Um, when they're outstretched all the way, it's just a little too big, I think, for my pot or my little 18 ounce cup here. Um, so I really enjoy kind of sticking them in just a little more. And they stay like that. Uh, they, they're not cheap. They're not, uh, they don't give away very easy. So they're really adjustable and really good. So my initial, uh, my initial thoughts is this is a really good product. Um, I've never used it before. And like I said, I've never used an alcohol stove to cook anything. But I'm just going to kind of stick it here in the ground. There's no vent holes on the bottom, so I don't believe there has to be like any clearance too much. You know, it's going to get warm. That's my only worry, but I'm going to monitor that. Um, put the GoPro down. I'm going to be using for fuel, uh, heat. You can get it at any gas station, pretty much anywhere, uh, any convenience store or anything. Uh, and it's just, it burns cleaner than rubbing alcohol. I guess you're not really supposed to use rubbing alcohol. That's what I was planning on using, but... Um, now I'm going to put this in a smaller container. I actually just picked it up today, but something smaller. You pour it in, and you kind of let it fill in, and I guess you want just a little bit to kind of pool up here. And that's how you know you've got it filled correctly. I am making a mess with this stuff. Definitely need to get a better container. And it seems to take quite a bit of this fuel, so... I'm definitely probably not going to need all of it. Oh, looks like we're almost there. Now, how much does this thing need? Now, this thing only weighs an ounce, which I like. Uh, you know, it's not much weight in the backpack. Um, it just seems to be taking in fuel. It's kind of crazy. Oh, there we go. I think we're all set. So, I'm going to light it up. And... Make sure the cap's on the heat here. And we're going to see some burning cooking action. Um, I'm going to make some tea. And we're going to see how well it cooks and boils. Um, and I'll even probably time it for you guys. So that way we know we get some kind of efficiency rating out of this. Um, let's see. Probably just use a light whore. All right, it is, I think it is going. Yep. All right, guys, so it's been about a minute, maybe, maybe even less than 60 seconds, um, and the flames kind of started to pop up. Uh, you At first, if you I listened really uh, carefully, I could hear kind of like a jet sound. Um, and then it kind of started to increase and then I started to notice a visible flame um, The one thing that I definitely noticed is if you notice uh, Excuse me if you look right here around um, I was spilling some of the heat 
and all right here is like an amber it's just really hot um, so when I'm done with this I need to check the ground here uh, I need to make sure that this I mean I can see there's ambers here uh, so it's really hot um, I haven't dug out this area I haven't prepped this for like a fire pit or anything so that makes me nervous uh, in the sense of like a oh, wildfire or anything like that um, so I need to take extra precaution and uh, when I've done this not only kind of dig out this area um, but then also kind of pour some water in it and and you know maintain make sure that there's nothing here that's on fire but uh, the ground is definitely you know it's hot it's black it's scorched um, so something I got to be careful about and I was not prepared for so you learn a little something every time you go out and you know new kid is definitely something interesting but you got to be careful all right YouTube what's going on uh, I got seven minutes left of video on this SD card I have maybe an hour or two of daylight left and uh, it looks like my water's done uh, this little alcohol stove oh, I think it just went out look at that um, so a quick review on this stove I followed the directions um, as far as lighting goes and oh geez big old bug almost attacked me um, as far as lighting and um, fuel goes, I followed the instructions pretty much to a T. Um, and I had a little, a couple struggles with it, a couple problems. I'm just going to set you guys down right here real quick. Um, and it wasn't anything too deadly or too crazy. Um, I still really enjoyed the stove. It was kind of cool. Um, I put fuel in it, and I don't know if... It's supposed to be wicked hard to light, but um, everyone online that I saw said you keep filling it until you see a little pool of liquid. Um, maybe I just didn't see the pool of liquid quick enough and I put too much in, but um, I lit it and it started to heat up. There's, you know, they need a little time to get going and actually fuel up. Um, hold on, I need to stir my tea bag here. You know, they need a little time to get to get going and uh, so I knew that uh, but when it did get going um, a bunch of fuel came just gushing out of the top uh, it was too hot in there stuff was vaporizing and there wasn't enough room for the fuel um, so I'm assuming that I used too much fuel and that it, it's not you know a mistake of the company or anything uh, and then what happened was basically some fuel fell and hit the ground and uh, that started to catch fire a little bit nothing out of control I didn't feel uncomfortable about it um, you know and luckily I've cleared this area out quite a bit so wasn't really too close to my whole setup or anything but you know the ground is charred and I like to leave no trace and you know there's I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrape it away and everything and it's gonna be fine but for the most part you know I try not to char the ground and that's a little bit of a disappointment so I think I've got to I'm gonna go give it a try. I'm gonna go out in the driveway and, and try it a few different times, a few different ways. And once I get it kind of refined and tweaked, I'm gonna figure out how much liquid needs to go into a container for like one usage or two usages. And I'll uh, I'll bring that out instead of a whole bottle of uh, heat. But see here, feels like, oh yeah. Oh, I just splashed some hot scalding tea. I was gonna say, maybe this isn't really super hot, but no, it did the job. For sure. Wow, that is actually wicked hot. And uh, I've got some uh, some tea in there. This is called Jazzed. Uh, it's just uh, some herbal remedy tea. They had a few different things in there. Um, but it's, uh, it's jasmine tea, basically. Super hot. Holy crap. So it's going to be a little while until I can actually drink that. I might have actually made that too hot for the, the recommended tea. It's not 195 degrees Fahrenheit. But ingredients are hibiscus, orange peel, lemongrass, rose hips, green tea, blackberry leaves, natural flavors. Um, and it's called Jazzed. And the name of the company is Bentley's. I bought it because it was a dollar on sale and I just kind of wanted the tin. And I used the tin for all my cooking supplies, so I like it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clip back once I'm sipping some tea. I'm going to probably pack up everything and uh, I'm going to get ready to hike back. I need to do another tick check because I can I can feel them crawling on me. So 
So I got pretty much everything packed away except for the ground tarp, the tarp above me, my mat, and my awesome, sweet, light pink wool blanket. I'm going to finish off the jasmine tea. I actually have never had it before, uh, jasmine tea at all, from any brand, and I really like it. It's got a, a refreshing, like, really kind of crisp taste. Um, just kind of glad I went out today, you know, guys? It's, uh... Sometimes I, I go out, you know, I go out into the woods because I like it. Um, and just recently I've started bringing you guys along. And, um, and I find I go out in the woods more now because I want to, I want to bring you guys along. I want to share things. I want to make videos. Um, and sometimes when I'm like walking to, you know, whether it be walking to this, this particular uh, woods or, you know, going somewhere with my GoPro and, you know, with a video in mind, you know, I think... Uh, not work it's never work it's not like I get paid or you know this is like what I want to do for a living but um, you know there's something I want to do I have a set goal and I go out and I try to achieve it and at the end of it it's always awesome because you know yeah I have a set goal but I came out and man I laid in the Sun and just caught a nice breeze and listened to some good music and you know I've tried a tea I've never had before so there's definitely some like uh, bits of dirt and some some bark in there too, so shout out to that. Uh, and it just makes me happy because it's always fun. It's never not never not fun. And I'm the kind of person too, I guess, that if it was ever not fun, by golly, I'd try to make it fun. So appreciate you guys watching, and I'm gonna break down camp and hike out of here. So. Leave your likes and your comments and your subscribes and your your fangled dangled whatnots and it's all appreciated, folks. It's all it's all appreciated. I really like it all. So take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.